on you will go, though the weather be foul. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. Put in the work, the hours to sweat. On you will go, though the heck and cracked howl. See, dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Hi, everybody. This is Big Anklevich here. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm shaking things up this time around because, uh, yeah, Big Anklevich is here. You know, thought I'd make things a little different. Yeah, I bet you didn't expect to hear Big Anklevich on the ankle cast, but this time around, that's, that's the way we're going to go. We're, we're going in a new direction. Uh, speaking of going in a new direction, I need to go in a new direction. I'm changing lanes, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I, yeah, I, I talked last time about how I needed to find a time to write because, oh darn, now I'm in traffic. <laughs> oh crap. Well, that'll give me more time for the ankle cast and I'll get in trouble for being late to work. But, uh, anyways, <sighs> yeah, um, right after I talked about that and talked about, okay, here's my plan, I'm going to make sure that I use my 30 minutes of my lunch for writing every day, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Um, yeah, I, I went, I did that for probably two or three days. Uh, I wrote probably 1,500 words or more on my, uh, story, which is called That Damned Cat, um, story no one will probably ever see because, you know, if I put it out there, I will be, uh, tarred and feathered by the public because the reading public really likes cats and really dislikes anyone who dislikes cats and really dislikes me, basically, I think is, um, the other thing. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I wrote on that for a, a few days, and then I had my annual review at work. They sat me down and talked to me, and we'll just go ahead and make a long story short and just say that it didn't go well. They're not pleased with my performance. They didn't find me to be all in to win. Um... And so, I've really got to step up my game at work uh, if I want to probably... I mean, I, I don't think I'm... In, there's an, I don't think it's likely that I will be fired soon. Uh, Slugbug Blue, I just punched you, just in case you were knowing. I mean, in case you wanted to know. Um, I don't think it's likely that I'll get fired or anything soon. But, uh, yeah, they're not pleased with how things are going and they want me to improve. Um, which basically means that I'm going to have to probably use my lunch times to do all these things that they expect of me because I don't have time to do it otherwise. That's one of the things I don't think that they realize. I don't sit around wasting a lot of time. I might waste some time. Pretty much everybody does. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't have time to write up a bunch of reports and the, the kind of things that they want me to do um, and do a regular job of editing. So that whole the, the lunch thing, that's not going to fly anymore. I don't know what I'm, uh, I'm going to do uh, to write, therefore. My five-year plan requires that I write. The law requires that I say yes. Um, but uh, I don't know how I'm going to work it in because um, that was really the best time that I had. When I'm at home, I have a really hard time because I have four kids that expect things of me. Um, and that do nothing for themselves, so, you know, like, that the dishes will not be done because they can't be, you know, asked to lift a finger to clean our house. You have to bribe them with money, 
or threaten them with violence or something like that to get them to do anything. So, uh, yeah, the only times that I really have are first thing in the morning. I usually wake up at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, I get the kids up and they start getting ready for school and between 6.30 and about 8, I usually go down and walk on the treadmill if I can manage, if I've gone to bed early enough that I can manage to stay awake. Uh, so there's that time I could possibly uh, trade up for riding, or I send the kids to bed at 9.30 to, so that they, you know, will get enough sleep so they'll be able to handle their day. And uh, I usually go to bed at 10.30, so between 9.30 to 10.30 I can maybe uh, right then, just trying to figure out, I mean, if I don't, if I write in the morning, then that means I'm not walking on the treadmill, which would probably put a kink in my whole weight loss contest thing, um, and then, of course, the other thing is, there's the three-year-old who likes to interrupt both of those times, half the time I wake up at 6.30 in the morning, he decides, oh, I hear noise, I'm gonna wake up too, and he'll come down and demand all my attention. Uh, so I wind up not even walking on the treadmill. And the other half of the time, he falls asleep in the middle of the day and therefore will not go to sleep uh, when it's time to go to bed. And so he's up all night and I don't get any writing done on those days either. Um, so, yeah, figuring out my, my best time to ride. It's, it's got to be one of those. Uh, maybe I can, uh, I can try. The thing is, with the, the weight loss stuff, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to win the weight loss contest. I, I saw those percentages and I felt like crap that I was the worst of all. And so I really stepped it up. The first week I jumped from last place to 10th place, uh, which is not the same thing. There's like 15 people, so <laughs> I did climb some spots. Uh, and then the next week I jumped from 10th place to 5th place. And then this last week I now jumped from 5th place to 2nd place. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen after this week uh, that just happened. Uh, we weighed in on Friday. Uh, today is Monday. Uh, we usually don't get the percentages from everybody else until Tuesday. Uh, so I'll see where I've fallen to or ri rose to. I didn't really do that great. I probably lost, I think I lost 2.2 pounds, uh, which is only about half of my goal. Uh, four pounds a week is my goal, and I've made it up until now. Um, so we'll see if I've... I doubt I've r risen to first place by way of that, but uh, I hope I haven't fallen out of third or second place back to third or fourth. I guess we'll see. But, um, but yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be a good week this week. But if I put the time that I use on the treadmill into riding, then I'll stop probably losing weight even at the rate that I am, you know, this week. My slower rate, I'll probably lose that. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I don't want to use that for riding. I want to keep using that for exercising and use a different time for riding which leaves only 9.30 to 10.30. 9.30 to 10.30 is also kind of the time that I get anything done. If I do something for the dune steep, uh, or uh, just anything, it happens at that time, um, which is one of the reasons why hardly anything gets done for the dune steep. I don't have a whole lot of time to do it, but I really want to step it up. I hate that, you know, we've fallen down from an episode, uh, you know, back in the way, back in the day, it was an episode a week, and then it's 
you know, scaled back to an episode every other week, and then it's scaled back to, you know, once a month, and now we're to the point where it's once every six to eight weeks, and I hate that. I feel like I'm letting people down uh, with that being the case. Um, and I don't, I don't know if people find the that gets my goats and the ankle casts and the uh, the uh, rich outcasts and the podcasts that dares not speak its names. I don't know if they find those to be a good substitute or not. Maybe they do. Uh, at least Rish puts stories in his podcast. Me, I just blather. So, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know. It's hard to decide where I can put my, my time into writing. I need to write every day. I need to really work on things. Uh, if only I can get some kind of pattern going that works. Something that won't be interrupted by something a, a month or two down the line, like every other thing that I've tried. It works for a little while, and then it doesn't work. Um, and, uh, yeah... So I have to admit, I'm a little depressed at how things are going. I'm a little depressed at their uh, interpretation of my uh, of my performance at work. I'm a little depressed at how I have no time for anything. Um, kind of everything in life sucks, really. And maybe that's just what life is. Um, life is pain. Anyone who says differently is selling you something. And uh, I guess for the most part it's true. Um, but I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to figure it out. I think for now I need to go for the 9.30 to 10.30 option. And I need to make that a an actual goal. Get the kids to bed by 9.30 and get working on writing. Um, I think that's what I need to go for. Uh, what I did manage to do this month was, yes, I did, I did finish up that story, That Damned Cat. I wrote for a little while and I had it kind of half done. And on like the 28th of February, February, I was just like, you know what, F this February, and F you, I'm going to get something accomplished. And I sat down one night at 9.30, and, uh, and I just wrote on that story, and I wrote for like an hour, probably maybe even an hour and a half, I don't know how long I put into it, but I wrote about 1,500 words, and I finished that story up. Um... So I did manage to finish a story in February, which is nice. So now it's time to put my head down and just plow forward into sunny and gray and just see how far I can get with that thing. Just see if I can ever finish writing this. Uh, I did also put out a call on Facebook and on my blog for people to, who wanted to be first readers for my stuff, and I was surprised and, and pleased to get a bunch of people who volunteered, and I think it will be really good for my writing um, to get some feedback on it. There, it used to be that Rich Outfield would read all my stories, and, and there was a time when we first started the Dune Steep where we would get together and we would read our stories to each other out loud and take notes and stuff as we read them with each other. And, uh, yeah, those days are long gone. Uh, Rich Outfield does not read my stuff anymore, and nobody does, really. And so uh, I, I've had people here and there who have re read my stuff, but I think, you know, putting together a formal, you know, relationship where, hey, this is what we're doing will be really handy 
and it'll be really nice to get people's feedback um, and be able to apply that to my writing so that I can improve it because you know Dean Wesley Smith says that what you have to do is do focused practice on writing he says that every time uh, you write you should be practicing some particular thing if your characterization is uh, you know lacking then that's what you're working on you're doing the things that is necessary to make your character stronger and then you know the next time whatever else your, your setting is not uh, strong enough or whatever it is that you know you're lacking in whatever it is that you are not uh, really hitting out of the park that's what you need to be working on and it's hard to do that if you have no idea what that is so it'll be nice to have these people's uh, comments on it thanks to everybody who signed up for that who volunteered for that and we'll see how it goes um, and yeah one other thing I also got myself a book about writing it's a an outlining book how to do outlining for a novel and I've been reading my way through that a little bit each night my plan was to really read through it fast and then go back through a second time and you know really take stock you know it was just kind of like immerse myself in it and then later go through it with a more fine tooth comb and really take notes and and uh type up the stuff that I really need to know so that, you know, because that's me and Rish's plan this year I think we're going to try and start it in June uh, which is write a novel and the first month of that 90 day write a novel thing is uh, planning the story you, you plan it for 90 days or for 30 days uh, and get it really set to go, outlined out, characters uh, all drawn up so they know exactly what's going on, so that you can sit down and really write and make that book sing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been reading that book. I actually got the book and the uh, workbook that goes with it. Um, I haven't even got to the workbook. I'm still working on the, the book book itself. Um, but yeah, that's something that I'd like to improve uh, with my writing. And I'd really like to uh, work on a novel, to get a novel written. Uh, the outlining book, hopefully I can apply to Sunny and Gray as well, because I really only have the barest bones of an outline. I have like, I've outlined maybe the first third or set out the chapters you know what's going to happen in each one for the first third of the novel but there's still two thirds of it where I don't even know how I'm going to get from point A to point B I kind of know you know what's supposed to happen um, but I don't know how that's supposed to happen <laughs> so we'll have to see uh, if I can pull it off um, but yeah, that's my next thing, is to start writing chapter three. I've written chapters one and two of this thing, and um, chapter three's next. Uh, I need to get going on it so that I can, uh, so that I can finish that, because I want to be finished with it before June comes along, and I have to start into the novel with Rish. I don't want to be like two-thirds the way through it, I'd have to quit. That would really suck. So, 9.30 to 10.30 is my new goal. Maybe tonight from 9.30 to 10.30, I will sit down and outline things out for myself. Uh, outline my plan out instead of actually writing. Outline exactly how I'm going to go about achieving my goals and maybe adjust my goals because I haven't even looked at them for about six months, really. Uh, and I know I've fallen behind on a lot of them. Um, so I need to outline that kind of stuff too, get myself all planned out so that I can put the plan into action. So that's what I'll be working on 
this month. Uh, that and trying to lose weight. I've sadly I've only made it down to you know three years ago we did the weight loss contest and I started out that weight loss contest at a particular weight and I lost 38 pounds from that weight down to where I finished the contest at. Uh, after four weeks of this contest, I finally made it down to that weight that I started out at three years ago. That's a, it's pretty sad, really. Uh, and a lot needs to be done, obviously, for me to... Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes down to it, fitness is important. If you want to be a rider, you got to be alive. And if I'm unbelievably fat, that's not going to, you know, hold true forever. I'm not going to be alive. I'm going to die young, which I don't want to do. I don't mind dying old, but I don't want to die young. Uh, I would like to try and achieve some of the things that I want to achieve in my life and can't do that if you're dead. So I will work on the fitness. Hopefully I can rise from second place to first place and come home with, I think the grand prize of this thing is 150 bucks. So I don't know what I'll do with that 150 bucks, but uh, I'm looking forward to blowing it on something. Uh, probably I'll blow it on a bunch of books because that's what I need a lot of right now. Uh, and yeah, so there you go. Um, that's going to be my ankle cast for today. Uh, hopefully things will look up. Hopefully life will look up. And uh, hopefully I can put this riding thing into practice again. Because you know, I've fallen way off the wagon since... October, November, when I actually was doing a fairly decent job at riding to where I'm lucky if I ride at all in a month, much less getting my goal of 10,000 or more words. So yeah, I will work on that, folks, and I will see you again next month here on the AnkleCast. I've got five years. That's all I've got. So the thing about dreams is dreams don't come true dreams are made true. So I'm going to get out there and see if I can make it true. Make it so, number one. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Your goal should be a dream with a deadline. That's why I gave you five years. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Take the shot. There will always be things in the way you dream. You go out and you find why not. You surround yourself with why not. Live a why not life, man. There are a million no's, but all you need is one yes. Where we are today is where we are. Today's the starting day. I know what we're going to do today. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! Think it'll right? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye! Bye.